Imagine a secret so powerful it has the ability to control your life. It's not drugs, it's not alcohol, it's pornography. In the vast expanse of our modern world, there's an addiction that goes unnoticed, unspoken. It's an addiction that can affect anyone regardless of age, gender or status. It's an addiction to pornography and it's more prevalent than you might think. Pornography in itself isn't inherently bad. Like fire, it can warm your house or burn it down. The problem arises when it begins to control you rather than you controlling it. When it becomes a compulsion, a need, that's when it transforms from a harmless pastime into a destructive addiction. This addiction doesn't discriminate. It can consume anyone and its effects are far-reaching. It can distort your perception of reality, skew your understanding of healthy relationships, and even impact your mental health. It's like a silent thief, stealthily stealing away your peace of mind, your self-esteem and your ability to connect with others on a meaningful level. The stigma surrounding this addiction is so intense that many are too ashamed to admit they're struggling. It's a topic that's often swept under the rug, hidden in the shadows of our society. But just because we're not talking about it doesn't mean it's not happening. It's time to bring this issue into the light. The first step to breaking free from any addiction, including pornography, is to recognize it, to admit that it's a problem. It's not about guilt or shame or judgment. It's about acknowledging that something in your life is causing you harm and deciding to take control. Only then can you start to reclaim your life piece by piece. Only then can you start to heal. Remember, there's no shame in admitting you have a problem. There's only strength, courage, and the first step towards recovery. The first step to overcoming any problem is acknowledging it. It's time to remove the shame and stigma and confront the issue head on. What if I told you the key to overcoming this addiction lies within you? Sounds surprising, right? But it's true. The real power to combat any addiction, including pornography and masturbation, lies in your recognition and acknowledgement of the problem. Let's dig a little deeper into this. Imagine you're driving down a road and suddenly your car breaks down. You can't fix it unless you know what's wrong, right? Similarly, you can't overcome an addiction if you don't recognize and admit that it's a problem. You see, the human mind is a fascinating entity. It can be your greatest ally or your worst enemy. When you're addicted, your mind tricks you into believing that you don't have a problem, that it's just a habit or a way to cope. But let me tell you, that's your mind playing games with you. The first step towards breaking free from this cycle is to acknowledge the addiction. It's to tell yourself, yes, I have a problem, yes, I am addicted. This step might seem small, but it is the most crucial part of your journey towards recovery. Why, you may ask? Well, by recognizing the problem, you're challenging the notion created by your mind. You're breaking the shackles of denial and taking control of your life. You're not just saying you have a problem, you're accepting the responsibility to change it. Remember, recognition is not a sign of weakness. It's a display of courage. It's the courage to face your fears, to confront your issues and to strive for a better life. But recognition alone isn't enough. It's just the beginning. It's the foundation upon which you can build your recovery. Once you've recognized the problem, you can start to understand it, to learn about it, and most importantly, to fight it. So don't shy away from acknowledging your addiction. Embrace it, accept it, and then fight it. You're stronger than you think. You're capable of more than you believe. You've got this. By recognizing the problem, you've already taken the most significant leap towards recovery. Now that you've identified the problem, it's time to tackle it. Overcoming any addiction, including porn and masturbation, is not an easy task. But don't worry, you're not alone in this. There are various strategies that can help you win this battle. One effective method is seeking professional help. Therapists and counselors trained in addiction can provide guidance, tools and techniques that can aid your recovery. They can help you understand the root cause of your addiction and how to overcome it. So don't hesitate to reach out. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Joining support groups can also provide immense help. Sharing your experiences and hearing others' stories can give you a sense of belonging, knowing that there are others who are going through the same struggle. It can be a source of inspiration and motivation, reminding you that recovery is possible. Keeping yourself occupied with productive activities is another effective strategy. This could be anything from learning a new skill, engaging in physical exercise, or dedicating time to a hobby you love. 
The idea here is to divert your attention and energy towards something positive and rewarding. Practicing mindfulness and meditation can also be beneficial. These techniques can help you manage your urges and keep your mind focused. They can also reduce stress, which is often a trigger for addictive behaviors. And lastly, take care of your physical health. A balanced diet, regular exercise and a good sleep schedule can boost your overall well-being and resilience. When you feel good physically, you're better equipped to deal with mental and emotional challenges. Remember, these strategies are not quick fixes. They require consistent effort and patience. But the more you practice them, the easier it becomes to resist your urges and stay on the path of recovery. Remember, the journey to recovery is a marathon, not a sprint. And every step you take counts. So keep going, keep fighting. You have the strength to overcome this. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. The path to recovery may be challenging, but it's worth every step. As we delve deeper into our journey, it's crucial to remember why we embarked on it in the first place. Overcoming porn addiction isn't merely about breaking free from the shackles of a detrimental habit. It's about the transformation that ensues when you regain control over your life. Imagine the benefits that come with this transformation. Picture waking up each day with a clear mind, unclouded by the lingering effects of porn addiction. Envision the improved mental health that comes with breaking free from the cycle of guilt, shame and isolation that often accompanies this addiction. Visualize the strengthened relationships that evolve when you're no longer consumed by the need to hide, to lie, to isolate yourself. Imagine the trust you can rebuild, the connections you can deepen, the love you can fully embrace. These are the fruits of your labor, the rewards waiting at the end of your recovery journey. However, it's essential to remember that the path to recovery isn't a straight line. There will be bumps, there will be detours, and there may even be a few wrong turns. But every step you take, no matter how small, is a step towards reclaiming your life. It's also important to remember that you're not alone in this journey. There are countless others who have walked this path before you and there are many who are walking it alongside you. Seek them out, learn from their experiences, lean on their strength when you need it, and lastly, stay committed. The path to recovery is a marathon, not a sprint. It requires perseverance, resilience, and determination. But remember, every step you take is a step away from your addiction and a step towards a healthier, happier, and more fulfilled life. Overcoming addiction isn't just about quitting a bad habit. It's about reclaiming your life. So keep moving forward. Keep striving for progress. And remember, every step you take on this path to recovery is worth it. Because you're not just quitting a habit, you're reclaiming your life.